Hello everyone, it's Potter here. And today I'm going to be showing you my generic code word Prime DMC in Blender. So I'll start off by taking the mask off so you can hear me a bit better. The mask I have on is a uh, Sobit SHMS. The mask was designed for snipers and other people who would be using optics, as you can see the uh, flat face on it. So this way you can get an actual slight picture on a scope. Stick this in the bag here. And I'll just set it aside. This year for now. But uh, so, yeah, this mask, it is from 1983. So yeah, pretty nice mask. Uh, I like it. Feels well. It fits all right. The only thing is that's a little tight in the back of the head, as it's a full hood mask. Um, the uniform I have is a uh, East German Strictarn camo. The uniform is from '78, I believe. So uh, or '79, '78 or '79. But uh, yeah, it fits me all right. I grew a little since when I got it, so the sleeves are a little short, as you can say. But yeah, my helmet here is a uh, Serbian steel pot helmet. Not sure the year there's not any markings on it. I can check real quick again, but... No markings that I can see, but yeah. I, uh... Let me get my hair on my face quick. I also have a, I don't be able to see them very well, but I'll come up to show you. I have a little foxhole here. I have, can you see that? Voodoo Tactical Combat Boots to go along with the outfit. Also have a uh, Soviet backpack. I think I shovel in the ground here. But, Soviet backpack, as you can see. A little too tall for the camera, I'll move it up quickly. Oh, that's better. Soviet Union backpack. And for the shovel, this is a uh, Soviet, again, shovel. And, um, plants are in the way. But I'll get it closer here so you can hopefully see that. Let me get it to focus. Turn the brightness up a bit. That work? Maybe a little, but... Um, hmm. Oh, I turned it wrong. I turned it down. It'll look really bright for everything else, but hopefully you can see that. Sharpen at the end here, and this side is flat. And this end is sharpened. There you go, now you can see I'll put the brightness back to normal. That look good, yeah. But um, yeah. The uh, I'll get you a close up on the helmet in a sec. Let me put this down. Hair's kind of in the way, but you can see a couple scuffs on it as it was used. Plants are getting in the way. This is my old foxhole I had. It got pretty overgrown now with the rain that we've had recently. Here's the liner. This here, it fell off, but it's actually pretty nice because you can adjust the liner so you can tighten it or loosen it. And it actually gives you a pretty nice fit when you get it to the right size. I'll show you the mask again. Not on me, but just in my hand. And say you get a nice light picture without the scope. It looks a bit like a monkey or a skull. But, yeah, let's see, size 2 for me, but 89, I'll put it back on so you can see what it looks like with me wearing it again. No filter on it because uh, the Soviet filters have asbestos in them so I don't want to get a lot of damage.
been playing around with the gas mask. Yeah, it's this in the back of the head, as you can see here. Hey, it's probably sticking a lot of the back. I can see it's sticking out a bit, but yeah. Let me close up, you can see my eyes, yep. It's a nice mask. I'll give you a uh, view of it from the inside. Yeah, turn it inside out. Oh, that looks weird. Yeah, voice diaphragm here. Intake valve, exhale valve here. When you're wearing it, you just really is nice because the uh, eye pieces are. Time for brightness again. Eye pieces are close to your face this way that you can actually see fairly well. Not much, not too much to the side since it's flat and not curved, but you can use binoculars and other things fairly well. Turn this back down. Um, not much else to show you. Uh, here, I'll put the gear back on so you can see it all. Gotta get the hair out of the way. It's kind of a mess right now. My hair is too long for this because the uh, back of the mask pinches my hair and it kind of hurts. So it's probably things I've done on here. The hose back in the bag. That noise, I don't know if you heard it, but because there's no filter, so this mask is so uh, it's made to be used with only big filters. Canister filters, not the just a plain small four millimeter filter, so without the air resistance it does that. The uh, the uh, it's not gonna do it now, but the boom sound. Put the helmet back on. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Can't really get a nice. You can't really get the helmet on fairly well, but take the mask. But so yeah, I'll sit down again. So that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Nine minutes.